Hello and welcome. It's Jilly here coming to you with a um, acrylic pour using I'm using the global impasto paints today. Uh, the colours I'll um, tell you as I'm going along but I'm excited I've got this lovely I think it's 40 40 point six centimeter canvas nice big round so I'm going to um, yeah I'm going to I'm gonna have fun with it so let's see what we can get with this and I'm just deciding whether I split the colors or just go no, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to pour my gorgeous ring around of colour around the actual edge and I might even leave some negative space, believe it or not. Believe it or not. This was some, I had green, uh, I had gold, metallic gold and metallic silver left over. And I actually poured the gold and silver in together and it has made this absolutely gorgeous well, it's like um, a champagne colour. So gold and silver make an absolutely gorgeous uh, metallic champagne colour. So I'm going to use that on the um, as the background for this delicious pour that I'm going to do. So I, I'm going to have to write that down to remind myself when I make custom colours, the ones that turn out absolutely beautiful. Of course, you want to... Um, note them down so you can use them again i've got a bit of yucky bits in there but never mind just push on uh, so this is yeah a really lovely champagne color and i'm hoping that it covers the canvas and and you know doesn't dry with any baldy bits but i'll put the color in it as well that i've got here i'll probably put too much on there which I always do. So what I might do is I'm going to use my fingers and, and go over the sides with this. It's the easiest way, especially for doing these round canvases to get the sides covered. It's not really coating the sides real well. It's kind of um, transparent. So I might have to, uh, when it's finished and dried, I could just actually go round the outside either with white or black or a colour that um, complements the other colours that I've used in it. But that's all right. You just work with what you've got. And if it turns out, it turns out. And if it doesn't, scrape the paint off onto your paper. Scrape it off, take it outside and use your water hose and hose the canvas off. Leave your canvas to dry. Out, I usually just put it on a tray that I've got outside to dry and um, then reuse it again. And then if you, yeah, if you've, if you've taken the paint off pretty much straight away, um, you end up with a nice clean canvas to work on again. So I know that, you know, wasting paint is expensive, but remember that the acrylic pouring your using very little paint because you're putting more pouring medium into it. Okay, I'm really um, stretching that one out. So I'll just go over with my heat wand oh, on this one. That's an absolute gorgeous colour. It's really, yeah, like a champagne gold. It's beautiful. So definitely have to remember that one again. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to, the composition is going to be all the nice bits around the um, outside. Now this is the, um, another custom colour that I make, my Berry Delicious. So I'm going to wiggle, which goes lovely with this champagne colour. I could have probably done this paint a little bit thicker because it's um, actually I could use that on the edge of it to go over the edge because it's pretty runny so I can use that to go over the edge of my canvas. 
at the edges, the um, the berry delicious. I've made it probably too runny for what I want to do with this. Would be actually good to blow this um, particular, you know, do the Dutch pour with it. But anyway, I'm just going to plod on, plod on. A bit more it certainly looks lovely with this champagne color stop too much okie doke now i'm going to use the i never get them right whether it's oh it's cool red see this is this is the consistency that i would have really liked to have sticked with this particular pour it's a little bit it just leaves a little trace in the cup but before I do that, I might just use the heat wand on that. Very delicious. Lovely. Now I'm gonna put in this cool red. And again, just do your wiggles all over it, wiggling. It's uh, coming out in a bit of a blobs, but oh, it's nice colours together. I like it. I mean, you really, yeah, you could uh, just use those colours alone with the the champagne and the um, berry delicious and the cool red. They look pretty nice. I did have yellow mixed up, but I'm not going to put yellow in this one. I will put some of the warm red, which is kind of like a, an orangey colour. I'm going to put a bit of warm red. The birds are going crackers outside. I don't know what at, but there must be um, a hawk around or something because they're going off their nut. Oh, okay, I like that. I'm not going to put the yellow in, absolutely not. So you can make decisions like that, absolutely. I am going to put, this is the, this is pre-mixed um, Amsterdam white with just Floetrol, because um, I just want to put some white into it. Oh, again, wiggling. see what this looks like with my edges just blown out to soften them so I will get a straw if I can find my straw oh it's getting a bit um oh, I've got another one it's getting a bit tatty looking but it's okay um I this is <laughs> it was a stainless steel straw and it had a silicone end which you normally use this bit to on your lips but I found it because it had got the um, bend in it it's really good for blowing the paint and it's washable so this one needs a good wash So nice. I'm going to turn this around. Maybe just like that's fine. Oh, that kind of pretties the centre up a bit. Certainly that berry delicious in the gold. gold. Oh, that's 
gorgeous. I'm going to leave that centre just with maybe a tiny few wisps. So I just get a skewer, bring the just a few whisks, wipe off your skewer in between your wispy bits. Just to soften the centre up, I guess you don't have to. Remember it's your art, your rules, your way. Do it exactly as you're feeling at the time. I think that's perfectly fine. I am going to give it a good My favourite thing, as you would know, if you know my pouring preferences. <laughs> so I will now get my trusty balloon. If this paint is on the thin side, it is, or if you were doing it and the paint was very thin and falls in, you just walk away and leave it to dry off onto the canvas a little bit. Um, if not, just go for it. So I'll try and see what we get here. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that. Gorgeous. You could definitely, um, I will go and get it while I am thinking about it. I want to show you something. Okay. A lovely idea if you, um, with your balloon, when you see you've got a really nice um, kiss on your balloon, obviously I wipe a lot of them off while I'm doing a video because I keep the video flow instead of trying to do 10 things at once. But if you're on your own and you can get some of these, these are pearl cards with envelopes. So it's got, it's actually a, a card with an envelope. So you've got a nice envelope to send you've got the actual card so you can write in it, and it's got a pearly finish. I just got these from my Kmart store. So you can put your balloon dip onto your card, one or two, um, leave it to dry, and then you've got a really personal card to send to somebody. Um, you can even put a, a balloon kiss on the envelope. I'm gonna keep the card to the side, so I probably won't be able to show you while I'm doing it until the very end. I'm gonna keep my envelope there too because I think I'm gonna do a little a little balloon kiss on my envelope with my smaller balloon. So, okay, let's give this a go. I will, it's a really nice way of personalizing cards with you, you know, you paint from your balloon kiss. So, I've got my balloon nice and clean again. I'm going to give it a nice, Kiss into the paint and your balloon there. Rightio. I might just try it off. I've put one balloon kiss on it. I'll have to lift it up and show you when I've finished. I'll just keep going with this and then I'll show you at the end. I'm not going to put everyone on, obviously. If you've got like that set of cards, I think there's 10, yeah, I could use all of those um, cards with this just from this one uh, particular kiss paint uh, creation. And I've got 10 cards ready then to um, use as gift cards. Uh, personal gift cards that you can send to anyone or if you're selling your paintings they're really nice to put in your sold painting um, package so wow loving it kind of dark and romantic actually like I suppose it's the reds in it I don't want to do too much more with the bigger balloon now. I might just um, come in with my smaller balloon. So 
and just give some small balloon kisses and then I can put a few small kisses which I'll show you I'll lift it up and show you in a ticky a ticky wicky woo um, what I've got if, I'm not sure if you can see these that I'm doing but I can't lift it and do it over that one at the minute so I will lift them up and show you in a second or two all right so like I said I've only got one card and one envelope sitting there but if you're prepared and you've got all your cards sitting there that you can use all of the excess from your, your dips on cards you can even buy just that card material and make your own you know just fold it in half but they were so cheap five dollars i think for ten so here you normally pay five dollars for one gift card or birthday card so you you've got your own personal which people i think most people love to have personalized cards and things like that I think I've made a bit of a mess of the envelope, but oh, I'm gonna just, um, my dogs are here. I'm just gonna, I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm just kissing the card, so, but I've put, as I normally do, I've put way too much on the card. I've jilly kissed it all over, so, my card is there so look at these lovely um you know if i was thinking if i wasn't trying to do a video talking and explaining i would do a better job of it because i'd be thinking more so what i'm doing my big nose dog don't put your nose in the paint benson so that's my card i just did the one corner of the envelope so i can still put the address and everything and I've just done one corner of the envelope. So I'm gonna leave those there to dry. They sort of do curl up a bit, but when they're dried, you, they flatten out. So I'm gonna leave this to dry off now. And um, I'm quite happy with it. I, I, I like the colors that's gone. I might. I might come back when the paint's dried off a little bit and do a few more embellishments with the small balloon but I actually like that, that it's got this see that's way too much paint to really um, get the best out of that at the moment so if you've got as much paint learn from my mistakes and don't put too much paint on there then you can work with the balloon easier when there's less paint my puppies are calling for the mama um okay so yeah i enjoyed doing that one um and i'm gonna have another go i'm gonna get another canvas and do this with less paint and it really works so much better if your paint is on the thick side because you get really nice shape in the balloon kisses um and it's even more beneficial if you leave it all to dry up for a little while i'm really happy with that happy jen happy with my card i hope that gives you food for thought and um i can see that's a little bit wonky it's a bit a bit top heavy down the bottom but it's all good you can hang it up that way then the top heavy bit is on the bottom but i love the colors and I certainly love that champagne gold that I created. So I hope you did too. Oh, you can see the cards while I was doing them. That's good. Okie doke, until tomorrow, you lovely people. I'll say bye for now. Wait on for the photos at the end. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me and it costs you absolutely nothing. So bye for now.